What you get here is the most extraordinary purity, pared down abstraction, which is so iconic and so very much Mondrian's signature style. Mondrian's composition here comes from really the, the peak of Mondrian's mature creativity. Painted in Paris in his studio there in 1927. He exhibited it that very same year at the uh, Librairie Esthétique in a short exhibition devoted entirely to his work. Coming out of the First World War, there was this feeling of stripping away the figurative, everything to do with the old, and he came up with this very, very new aesthetic of abstraction. What's really superb in this composition is the juxtaposition of the colour planes, the varnished black grid. When you come up close, you can see it's a different surface texture to the rest of the painting quite deliberately. And you've got these intense planes of primary colour, the red with the blue, and then this grey plane to offset the intensity of the primary colour. What you have here is a composition of extraordinary balance, simplicity, very much what Mondrian was hoping to achieve with his neoplasticism, with, with this vision of a kind of purity and aesthetic, with his own unique type of modernism. I think that this kind of very pared down style that he developed can be seen as a reflection both of his Calvinist upbringing and also his utopian idealism and his modern outlook, which all comes together to create this very unique modernist style. It's extraordinary for us now to look at a painting like this Mondrian because we see his influence around us everywhere in architecture and design, even in fashion. But obviously at the time, in the 1920s, this was extraordinarily revolutionary. He really, in a way, was a pioneer of modernism, and it's his legacy that continues to endure to this day.